Hi, I'm Koya Webb and I have a power yoga class designed to tone your core while strengthening and lengthening your entire body. This sweat tea session is presented by Yogi. This workout is inspired by Yogi Detox Tea. So if you've been feeling tired or out of balance, this workout will leave you recharged. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna have modifications by Tara and we're gonna have Superwoman version by Crystal. <laughs> And I'll be doing a lot in between the two. So I just want you to listen to your body and do what feels good. Let's get started in child's pose. So come onto your mat, bring your knees hip distance, a little bit wider than hip distance apart and sit your hips back. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Melt your heart between your thighs and just sway from side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Just take this moment to relax. Go ahead and find stillness. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, sigh it out. Another deep inhale, and exhale, sigh it out. Slowly round up one vertebra at a time. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, bring your hip, your knees hip distance apart. We're gonna come into tabletop. Engage your core, navel into your spine, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Chin to chest, round your back for cat, and arch for cat. Again, round for cat, and arch for cat. Start to circle your head and your hips around. Just find some organic movement on your mat. Feeling good. And then go the opposite way, feeling your strength. Even though we're moving slowly, just feeling that connection to your breath. And come back center. Tucking your toes under, lift your hips for a downward facing dog. Bend your right knee and your left. Shift your hips from side to side. Feel how good it feels to move. Spread your fingers wide. Slowly walk yourself to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen half. Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Grab opposite elbows and just let your head hang. Bouncing gently from side to side. Completely let go. If you want to straighten your legs a little bit to add a little intensity, go ahead and straighten your legs and just again, just let all your thoughts go as you gently bounce and rock from side to side. Slowly relax your hands down and round up, bend your knees one vertebra at a time. Come all the way up to the top, inhale your arms up and above your head, bring your toes together to touch, hands to heart center. Take this moment to close your eyes and set your intention for your practice. What do you want to bring more of into your life? Maybe strength, maybe play, maybe softness. Whatever it is, take a deep inhale and exhale. Fill it in every cell of your body. We're gonna start with sun salutation A. Relax your hands down by your side. Inhale your arms up above your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back to plank. You have an option to modify here. You can bring your knees down and come through the cobra. Oh, just go straight to cobra. Inhale, lift up, pelvis is down. Exhale, relax down. We're just gonna warm up the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax down. Keep the pelvis grounded. Inhale, lift. And exhale, relax down. This time, if you want to press up to upper facing dog, tuck your toes and press up. Otherwise, just do another cobra and feel good. And then downward facing dog, straight back or bend your knees and make it there whenever you're ready. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Another deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Come up high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees, look between your hands and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, big sweep. 
Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Sun salutation B, we're gonna bend our knees, come really low, fingertips touching the floor. Inhale the arms up for that nice deep chair. Slowly bring your hands to heart center and twist to the right. Use your elbow to really twist the torso all the way from the navel up to through the head. Option to spread your arms wide. Looking down for grounding or up for a challenge. Slowly bring the palms back together. If you separated them, inhale, arms up for chair. Stay low, hands to heart center. Let's twist to the other side. Again, use the elbow to twist the torso. Option to stay here or spread your arms wide. Again, looking down, ground your look up if you have your balance and really work on opening the heart. And turn back to center, chair pose. Inhale all the way up, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward, let it all go. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees and step back as you flow through your vinyasa. And if you don't like vinyasa, you can just step back to downward facing dog. So you can step back, do the modified version with Tara or the advanced version with Pistal. Or just skip it all together and breathe in downward facing dog with me. Feel that connection and that groundedness, honoring your body, honoring where you are. Deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Bring your toes together to touch. Right leg high to the sky. Come up high up on that left toe. Knee to nose, step it all the way through for warrior one. Ground that back heel down first. Inhale the arms up, feel the energy. Exhale, take the hands down. Step that foot back, flow through your vinyasa or just shift back to downward facing dog. Remembering your modifications or just really rocking it out. Feel good and then flow to that space. Toes together to touch, left leg high to the sky. Shift the weight forward, knee to nose. Step that foot through, ground the back heel down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, take the hands down. Flow through your vinyasa or just step back. Breathing through each movement, taking your time. Once you get into downward facing dog, do your checks. Rotate the eyes of the elbows forward. Spread the fingers wide and melt your heart towards your thighs. Take a deep inhale and exhale, side it out. Come up high up on your toes. Bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, arms are up. Extended mountain, come all the way up, maybe even a slight back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. All right, we're gonna do our get loved up flow, C variation, <laughs> chair pose. Nice, big sweep of the arms up. Good, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa or just step it back. And if you're just stepping it back with me, you can also come in child, child's pose if you need a little breather here. Because we're gonna start moving. Toes together to touch. Right leg comes high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath the right armpit. Come high up on that left toe. Option to stay here or drop that foot behind you. Inhale, lift the hips for a wild thing, breathe. Exhale, lower the hip. Right leg comes high to the sky. Beautiful, shift the weight forward, knee to nose, step it all the way through, back knee is down for a low lunge. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your right. Again, using the elbow to twist your torso. We're detoxing now. <laughs> all right, option to keep your hands at heart center or spread your arms wide or find the bind. So find what feels good in your body and just breathe through that point. Opening the heart more and more with each breath. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, plant your hands down, scoot your toes up two or three inches, shift your hips back for Ardha Hanuman or half split. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Go ahead and let your head go. If this is a lot on your knee, go ahead and bend your knee and just melt your heart onto your thigh. Always okay to modify, always okay to pull back just a little bit whenever you need to. Make sure you just feel confident and relaxed wherever you're moving. Slowly plant your hands down, bring your right foot back to meet your left and flow through your vinyasa. And if you wanna be superwoman and rock out a couple push-ups, you can, right, Christo? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or just it, flow it. on through your vinyasa. <laughs> There's room for everything. We need every, yes. every, one, every one of these spaces. We need you to soften and strengthen and be flexible, all the things. All Toes the things. come together to touch. Left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath the left armpit. Again, option to stay here, just a lengthening or drop that foot behind you. Coming into wild thing, inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower. Inhale, that leg high to the sky. Knee to nose, step it all the way through. Low lunge, back knee is down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your left, using that elbow to twist the torso. Oh, this always feels good. Yes. <laughs> Option is spread your arms wide or find the body. And anytime you want to intensify any pose, you can always just close your eyes. See if you can find stillness without seeing, without knowing. Inhale, arms up, turn to center. Exhale, plant your hands down. Scoot the toes up two or three inches, shift the hips back, half split. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, lead with your heart, and then relax your head down. Breathe nice and easy. Close your eyes. See if you can soften even more into the pose. Not forcing your body, but just allowing it to release with every exhale. You find yourself melting deeper and deeper into the moment. Slowly bend into the front knee. Bring the left foot back to meet your right. Flow through your vinyasa, adding whatever you'd like. And if you want to have <laughs> modified push-ups here, you can also do that. <laughs> or just flow through your vinyasa or just meet in down with facing dog. It's all about being happy and flowing in whatever way feels good to your body. Good. Let's take a deep inhale together. Exhale, sigh it out. Come up high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. From here, we're gonna bring the hands down and we're gonna step the left foot back for crescent. Inhale, the arms up. Good. Come deep into that front knee. Make sure your knee is right over your foot. So if you need to scoot that front toe up just a little bit, so that you're sitting straight down, engage the core, palms facing each other. Just feel into that crescent pose. You got this. Good. Good, now slowly bring your hands to heart center and modify, bring it down to the floor. Otherwise, advance, just go straight into warrior three. Find a balance, you might shake a little bit like me, but find your core balance. Flex that back foot, and if you fall down, hop right back into it. <laughs> Good, square those hips down to the floor. And that knee is nice and juicy on the front. Good. Now from here, we're gonna transition from warrior three to half moon. So bring the right hand down, stack the hips, left foot goes hot. Now to modify, you can bend that front knee a lot or tap down as much as you need to. Again, find what feels good in your body, look down for balance or up for a challenge. 
couple more breaths here. Legs are shaking, mine is too. <laughs> Good, deep bend in the front knee. Step it all the way back to warrior two. Windmill the arms around, gaze over the front palm. There you go, beautiful. Gaze over your back hand, make sure it's straight out from your shoulder, and then back over the front. Come down in that front knee, make sure it's parallel to the ground, and let's reverse the warrior. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the front toe, triangle pose. Again, gaze down for balance or up for a challenge. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears in each pose. And then triangle, we're pressing the hips back, engaging the core and lengthening from every point. So grounding and rooting through the feet as we rise through the arm and the hand stretching up towards the sky. One more breath here. And then shift, bending in the front knee back to warrior two. And we'll nail the hands down into the lunge and flow through your vinyasa, rock out your push-ups, <laughs> or just step back to downward facing dog. <laughs> oh, whatever feels good in your body, just find it. And just breathe. If you need to take a little breather, feel free to come to child's pose. And just say, this time I'm going to take a break, but next time <laughs> it's okay to take a break in between. We got a whole nother side, so just listen to your body. All right, now we're all going to meet downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Come high up on your tippy toes to bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, hop plank. Exhale, floor and floor. Inhale, chair pose, bring the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. And this time, just step back with that right foot for crescent. Inhale, the arms up. Engage the core, bring your torso back over your hips, bend into that front knee. Feel that stretch in the front of your thigh. And this is your power pose. So feel confident and fierce in this pose. Shoulders away from the ears, lift your heart. Maybe even a slight back bend, hold. Good, beautiful. Now for the transition, slowly gather yourself. Hands to heart center, put your hands down and modify if you need to. Otherwise, really juicy in that back knee, find that core engagement as you move into warrior three. Shoulders away from your ears, you got this. Hold it there, flex that back foot. Juicy bend in the front knee to stabilize your balance, hold it. Oh yeah, my hip is feeling it too. Yes, <laughs> we love that slow burn, we love it. Burn Slowly good. bring your left hand down, your right hand up, stack the hips. Now we can stretch it out just a little bit. Bring that top leg looking down for balance or slowly turn the gaze up for a challenge. Reaching through the fingertips and the feet, hold it there. Good. Modify as needed to, but we're gonna transition again. Bend that front knee. We're gonna windmill, big step back into warrior two. It takes practice, y'all. <laughs> All right, gaze over the back hand. Make sure the back hand is coming straight out from the shoulders, and then go ahead and melt into that front knee as you gaze over the front fingertips. Warrior two. One more breath here. Windmill, reverse your warrior. Keep that bend in the front knee. Exalted warrior, just breathe. Back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the front toe, triangle pose. Beautiful, yes. Again, press all that weight into the back hip, reach through those fingertips. We're feeling great, I hope you're feeling great at home. <laughs> the ladies feel good, I feel good. We're gonna come on out of that, bend into the front knee. Good. Now we're gonna parallel the feet. So bring the toes to the front. Toes are in, heels are out. Clasp your hands behind your back, open the heart. 
and inhale, bring the arms back out to your side. Bend the knees a lot, hands on your hips. Slowly fold forward, wide leg forward fold. Plant your hands down, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, melt, let it go. And do a little gentle bounce here and sway from side to side. Oh, feels so good to flow. Good, find stillness in the center and plant your hands down as you turn your heels in. Bend your knees generously. We're gonna come up for a goddess pose, so take your time. You can bring your heels down or you can come up on those heels. Good. You might want to shorten your stance a little bit if you feel like you can't get on your heels. But once you can make it up, just sit in the seat. And it might burn a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes things are hard and you just have to sit in it and build your confidence, build your strength, build your endurance, and then you let go. Inhale, arms up. Oh yeah, exhale, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> we feel in the fire. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen halfway. Turn back to the front of your mat. Now we're gonna start cooling it down. Step to the back. Go ahead and bend your knees and walk those hips out from side to side. I got a little treat for you. Oh, right yeah. leg comes up high. <laughs> knee to nose, bring that knee between your hands for that juicy pigeon. Oh. Inhale, lift. My favorite pose. Exhale, heart forward. Hands underneath your forehead. Completely let it go. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, side it off. It's okay to wiggle from side to side. Feel how good it feels just to release that hips after all of that work and that powerful flow. Now we get to relax. We get to come home and settle down. Another deep inhale. And exhale, side out. And start to let your heart rate come down. You'll probably feel it beating on your thigh right now. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead and plant your hands down and press yourself up. We're just going to switch sides. So tuck that back toe under. Press back into downward facing dog. Walk your hips out just a little bit to feel the difference from one side to the other. We lift that left leg high to the sky, knee to nose. Bring that knee all the way through your hands. And we'll go from side to side as you find your position. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melt your heart and then your head. Hands underneath your forehead to relax. Deep inhale. And exhale, just let go. We often store a lot of emotions in our hips, so just doing this pose, even just before bed, just bringing that knee up and just relaxing can release a lot of tension from sitting, from driving. It's always good to release tension every single day. You can actually do this flow every single day. Another deep inhale. And exhale, side up. All right, slowly plant your hands down. Bring that leg back, downward facing dog. I got another little treat for you. You can decide whether you like it or not, whether you can consider it sweet or sassy, but All we're gonna come treats. into plank. <laughs> These are called plank elevators. You can do them modified on your knees or you can do them full. We're gonna come down to the forearms and back up for some nice core work. Forearms and back up. Keep your core strong. Make sure your hips are lifted. Good, no slouching in the hips, but finding that. Again, modify it however you think you need to. Just breathing into each move, finding what feels good and stopping in plank whenever you need to. But give me a couple more if you got it into you. And if you want to make it a little bit harder for yourself for your last couple, go ahead and do that too. And I hope you're smiling because we're smiling <laughs> over here. And if we're, we're, always, we're still smiling. All right, everyone come back up to plank, shift the hips back to downward facing dog. Take oh. a deep inhale. Oh yeah, it's breathe it so out. Good. <laughs> inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Hurts so good. Yeah, <laughs> it does. 
Nice, come high up on the tippy toes. Step forward halfway on your mat. We're gonna sit it down. We're gonna take it the opposite way for a little while. Go ahead and come into boat pose. You can do a modified shins parallel to the ground, or if you wanna go advanced, go ahead and straighten those legs with me. Good, option to stay here, or let's lower down to half boat, and then back up. Two more just like that, lower down, and back up. One more down, and hold it up. Hold, hold, engage, shoulders away from the ears. Slowly bend your knees, lower your feet and scoot your hips to your heels. We're gonna prep for bridge pose. Engage your core around your back, flow down one vertebra at a time. As you lay down, plant your hands down, move your heels all the way back so you can feel your heels with your fingertips. As you plant your hands down, inhale, lift your hips for bridge pose. Take a deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out. You can sway your hips from side to side. Have a little fun with this part. We're gonna cool it on down. And then find stillness. Slowly lower your hips. Bring your feet to the sides of your mat, knees together, right hand over your heart, left hand over your abdomen. Oh yeah, we've been moving, so take a moment just to center in and feel your heartbeat. And just have a moment of gratitude that your heart is beating. Some people didn't see today. And just let that gratitude flow through your body for just being alive, being well. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. We're gonna do another one. You have an option to go a little more advanced. This time, plant your hands down. Parallel your feet and your knees. And slowly inhale, lift your hips for bridge pose. Option to stay here or plant your hands by your ears. If you wanna go up for real, inhale, lift your hips. Oh yeah, and hold it there. <laughs> or you can walk your feet towards your hands, hands towards your feet, come up on your toes. Again, lift the heart, melt the heart high, melt your heart towards your arms. Open up, you got this. Good, breathe here. Couple more breaths, just feel the sensation. Flow through your body as you lift your heart. One more, press toes your arm one more time, and then slowly come out just as slow as you came in. Walking your hands, lowering your heels, and then slowly lowering down to your back. Feet to the outside of the mat, knees together. Left hand over the heart, right hand over your abdomen. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, relax. Another deep inhale. And exhale, relax. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. Good, bring your knees all the way in. Feet up to the sky for a happy baby. Go ahead and rock from side to side. Just massaging out the spine from those back bends. This feels really good. <laughs> oh, awesome, this is my favorite. The baby's got it right, you know? Right? <laughs> they know what to do. <laughs> Option to stay here or grab your toes and come into what I call extreme happy baby. <laughs> and just keep rocking from side to side. As we start to finish our practice, just take your time, close your eyes as much as possible and just listen to your breath and feel your body, even if it's still trembling. Mine is still trembling too. Oh, so, <laughs> are you guys trembling? Yes, yes. still feeling it. <laughs> All right, bring your knees together. Bring your right knee into the chest and lengthen your left leg long. Keep the left leg engaged, the left foot flex, and let's just circle the right foot. And then circle the opposite direction. And go ahead and extend that leg up towards the sky, grabbing on behind the thigh, the calf, or you can take your peace fingers and grab your big toe. Engage your core, bring your forehead to the knee to lengthen your spine, and then slowly relax the head down, and then slowly relax the right leg to the right. As you turn your head to the left, be very gentle with your legs. You don't have to force it here. Then slowly bend that knee and bring it to center. Give it a little kiss. And then take it all the way over for a spinal twist. Stack your shoulders. 
Stacking on top of that left shoulder. Take your arm the opposite direction of your knee and then gaze the opposite direction of your knee. That free chiropractic adjustment is right here, oh, right yes. now. I cracked multiple times. Yes. <laughs> oh. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring that knee back into your chest and we're just gonna switch sides. So left knee in, right leg is long. Engage that right leg and thigh. Flex that right foot and just circle the left foot around. And then circle around the opposite way. Go ahead and extend that leg towards the sky, grabbing on behind the thigh, the calf, or take your peace fingers and grab the big toe. Wherever you are, engage. Bring the forehead to the knee to lengthen your spine and slowly relax down. Bring the left leg out to the left as you turn your head to the right. And just allow gravity to do the work here. No forcing. Just close your eyes and breathe. Slowly bend that knee, bring it back into the chest. Give it a little kiss. And take it all the way. I love that I can hear the kids. It's perfect. <laughs> Showing our knee love. Yes. Stack your body on the right shoulder this time. Knee is all the way down. And then take the arm and take it the opposite way. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, relax. Go ahead and close your eyes. Just enjoy being here now, not worrying about anything that happened before or after just settling into this moment. Slowly bring that knee back into your chest. Center yourself on your mat. Cross your ankles, rock forward and back, and rock yourself all the way up to a comfortable seated position. We're gonna end, get into a little meditation. We're gonna end in Shavasana, so you can stay seated and just breathe. Otherwise, bring your feet to the corner of your mat Go ahead and come back on your elbows as you lower yourself all the way down. Let your feet fall out, palms up. Inhale, lift the chest and relax. Squeeze the glutes and relax. Squeeze your thighs and relax. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale and exhale. Completely relax your entire body. And I want you to do a scan from your head all the way to your toe and just let your body melt into this moment. Feel your body filling up with the golden light of the sun. Let it energize you, let it feel you. And no matter what has happened to you, no matter what you've been told, you are love. Let that love vibration radiate through every cell of your body. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale, hold the breath. And exhale. Slowly wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bring your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side and rock over to your right side. And take a moment here just to settle. Use your left hand to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And again, you can stay here longer and meditate. I'm gonna have me some yogi tea and meditate for a little while longer just to continue the detox. And I hope you really love this workout. Please leave in the comments below what you thought about the workout. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.